Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legend. Chris Maxwell, please leave a comment with your in-game name so I can give you the prize. Um, don't forget about it. <laughs> um, what's up guys? Uh, today we are going to take a look at yet another Dragon deck. Uh, this one I built myself. Uh, out of boredom, because why not? Uh, Crusader Dragons. Well, the name kind of speaks for itself. It's a Crusader deck focused on dragons. Uh, we've got loads of stuff uh, to combat whatever your opponent might summon uh, into the mid-late game where this deck shines. If you have the opportunity, you can go aggro as well, but I'd really advise into playing mid-range with it. Uh, it's pretty versatile, it offers a lot of creatures that you can play around with, and um, we've got the special dragons that you all guys love, Molomnia and Khan Grunteed. So let's take a look at the deck. We've got Midnight Snack, Reflective Automaton, Tiny Dragon, Blaze Lookout, Cliffside Dragon, Crusader's Assault Devourer, one copy of Flame Spear Dragon, that's the only one I got, uh, Revere Guardian, Blood Dragon, Cast Into Time, Clockwork Dragon, Piercing Javelin, Skyborn Dragon, Undying Dragon, Wildfire Dragon, One Swiftwing Dragon, Mulumnia, Mirak, Kalgrunteed, Odoving, and Alduin. Uh, of course, you can toy around with the deck. You can even add maybe, I don't know, um, some more card draws, but I believe that this deck has exactly what it needs um, to shine. Um, you have all sorts of combos that you can play with. We've got Mulumnia. Maybe a Berserker of the Pale could be a good addition. Um, especially for a Swifting Dragon, a Skyborn Dragon, and Wildfire Dragon. Wildfire Dragon already has Breakthrough, so it would be kind of pointless. Undying Dragon, on the other hand, could use some Breakthrough. Um, also some extra one damage. Uh, you've got Devour, you can toy around with Devour, keep it uh, to steal keywords and apply them to your dragons. Um, not to mention, um, you can uh, lethal out with Swiftwing Dragon using Cauldron Teed if the things uh, go your way. Tiny Dragon works exactly how it's supposed to, clearing those nasty, nasty tokens. And Reflective Automaton, combined with all the other dragons, help trigger Blades Lookout and draw you more cards. Crusader's Assault uh, is excellent in um, dealing extra damage or gaining some breakthrough and drawing two cards. Uh, the removals, um, Cost Into Time, Javelin and Devour. I've already talked about Devour, but they're kind of needed, especially if you're playing against another mid-range deck such as the Mid-Battle Mage. Um, cast Into Time is great. You can Cast Into Time um, Atronox and that would pretty much mess up with Alphic Conjurer. So it's a good card. Pissing Javelin is the um, one of the two prophecies that we have, the other prophecy being Midnight Snack. This is how the deck works, um, not much to say about it, except it's a full power gear mode dragon deck. So let's take it for some spins and see how it goes. Into game number one, and guess what, we're fighting against a battle mage. Remains to see whether it, this is a mid-range battle mage. It's going to be pretty interesting if it is. We'll see how the deck performs against it. Uh, some decent starting hand. Could have been better. We are a bit greedy on the late game, so... See what my opponent will summon. Uh, we'll see right away if this is a um, prophecy battle mage. Fabricate. Fabricate. Okay, so there's two options. It's either Stealer of Secrets OTK, or actually three options, or a Transmogrified deck, or it's a um, Dwemer deck. Second card, I hope, will confirm what we're up against. 
Yep, it's a Dwemer deck. Oh boy, so um, we're going to have some problems if uh, Holes of the Dwemer start to spawn because we don't have any support removals. Another Fabricate. I will be laying down Flamespear Dragon. We have to start with something, right? Uh, and I will lay it down in the field lane because I kind of want to uh, destroy that uh, zero one. Before Halls of the Dwemer start spawning. And Flamespear Dragon is actually pretty good at uh, dealing damage to those uh, 1 HP creatures. <laughs> also, the Dwemer only buffs the attack, does not buff the HP of the creatures. So, we should be okay there. We need a Crusader's Assault. What's that? Firebolt! Interesting. So it's a magic Dwemer deck. <laughs> well, sure. I can take that. Dwarven Sphere. Oh, and my, uh, my dragon got shackled. Let's see. We could devour it. Or we could pull a Skyborn Dragon. It'll favorably trade. Let's turn down the volume a bit. It's a bit too high. A fabricate six six. Deal one damage. Very good. I will javelin that, and we'll hit for face for five damage. Wilds Incarnate, my opponent will draw a card. Wasn't a successful enough to break two runes. Cruel Fire Bloom. Oh, that's actually great. It's not dead yet. <laughs> I will cast Wilds Incarnate into time. Uh, actually, let's play Skyborn Dragon. We do want to make Alduin cheaper and didn't offer us many keywords there. Oh, shackled again. <sighs> Such an irony. Uh, okay. Steam Constructor. I got eight magic available. So I'm gonna play Skybound Dragon and I'm gonna trace successfully into the uh, Dwarven Sphere. That'll get rid of the token. And probably we'll see a trade. Yep. Okay. My opponent will summon. Interesting. So he'll use Shadowmere to trade into the dragon. And he'll use Underwood Vigilante to deal more damage. And Reflective Automaton. And we just drew a Midnight Snack. We have two dragons in our hand. Oh! We're gonna lay down one. And we're going to devour Underwood Vigilante, giving Odoving charge. <laughs> it's going to be pretty fun uh, to lay it down. We'll see how, how things go. I'm 
kind of sleepy. Okay, so it has begun. Holes of the Dwemer. Started to appear. Well, there's a long way. Uh, two more turns, actually, until I'm going to be able to lay down Odving. In the meantime, let's cast that into time, it for face, and play with it, Guardian. Well, we have two cards in hand, and in two turns we can lay down Odving, so we need to deal as much damage as possible. That's something horrible. <laughs> so Clockwork Dragon in the field lane. And we've got no removals whatsoever. So laying down the, um, the lookout, just in case another dragon comes by. And of course my opponent decided to trade. Little does he know that I have Odoving in hand. Now that's a real problem. <laughs> Holy snap. So everything is dead. Uh, I'm going to play Tiny Dragon mostly because if I play Odoving, we'll be able to remove everything from the board. Now let's see what my opponent will do. If he's going to go for face, then uh, I'll be drawing some cards, which may prove useful. If my opponent decides to trade into that tiny dragon, he's basically going to set himself up for lethal. Even though my opponent has 22 HP, I believe in the deck. Uh, and we can deal 10 damage right after summoning. Okay, that is the perfect setup for Odoving to hit the board. That is unless my opponent decides to play a Wardcrafter. But I don't think my opponent has Wardcrafters. Okay, Midnight Snack. I'm going to lay it down in the shadow lane. Ah, oh, such a an interesting take. So we're going to steal um, the Glockwalk Dragon, and we could play Odoving. But stealing the Clockwork Dragon gives us an extra edge against our opponent, forcing him either to uh, remove that or to spawn more stuff for us to kill with Odoving. <laughs> and that's kind of the point of it. Are we going to see another crushing blow? I don't think so. We will see some uh, some pounding. Oh, that's excellent. We can get rid of that guard <laughs> with our midnight snack and further reduce the cost of any dragon in our hand. We've got a reflective automaton and we drew a clockwork dragon. Got an EDHP. Oh, why? It got silenced. 10 more magic available for my opponent. Wilds Incarnate. I will trade my Midnight Snack into the Wilds Incarnate and I'll play Oat of Ink. And I'm not sure if we have Lethal. No, we don't. But we can deal a lot of damage, and we can finish up next turn. <laughs> Pretty nice sight to see a Dwemer deck with two holes of the Dwemer falling prey to a Dragon Crusader deck. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, 
another wilds incarnate. And that's it. That is it, my friends. Let's see if we can get a removal. Nope. No removal, so we'll have to risk it. Uh-oh. What kind of prophecy could it be? Oh, it's the spider worker. Completely useless against our board. A pretty nice game. Crusader Dragons is a definitive showrunner. <laughs> Into our second game, and with this we'll call it quits, because it's pretty late. And I'm dead tired. Uh, we'll keep those. We're fighting against an Ebon Heart pack deck. Pretty sure we will lose because this deck is not meant to deal with lethal pings or too many lethal pings. Or maybe this is not the uh, the Slay uh, Rage Ebonheart Pact. If we can, I'll lead my never mind. I wanted to devour the Bandari Fortunus, but I will devour um, Astrid instead. Hopefully. Damn it. I was hoping that our Wildfire Dragon would get lethal. <laughs> would have been epic. Clearing the board. Buffing to Sky High. I will play my Blades Lookout. Trying to contest that Bandari Fortunus to, to stop him from adding too many copies of itself into my opponent's deck. A bit too late. Already did that for three turns. And it probably do it again. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least we got rid of one item from my opponent's hand. And we will cast it into time for sure now. Joran. Uh, I can spare a copy of our uh, Skyborn Dragon. The other one is the lethal one. I will keep that for the big stuff. I'll probably summon Undying Dragon next turn. Disciple of the Mirror. Wow, they nerfed it pretty badly, didn't they? <laughs> it's quite interesting that people are still playing it. Uh, I think by people I'm referring to uh, our opponent right now, because it, this is the first time I'm seeing it play in play actually after the nerf uh oh that's pretty nasty squish the wimpy ah oh, it removes our blood dragon well the cycle was kind of pointless wasn't it I mean it did nothing, just just sacrifice itself using one Squish the Wimpy. This is the second Squish the Wimpy. Uh, the Defiler nerf, if you are not aware, in the past it would summon uh, whatever you wanted from the uh, graveyard. Now you just draw it. We've got Call Granteed. I'm not going to use the lethal uh, Skyborn that I have. I will, however... Uh, let's play Undying Dragon. It's pretty hard to remove. 
And once we manage to swing once, we'll have it at 10 HP. Or not. It just got silenced. So that's the Disciple of Namira that got uh, redrawn from the graveyard. If I deal five damage now, I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh, another creature to my opponent. So I think it's uh, it's pretty okay. I'm trying to break one rune at a time, just so we don't get any nasty surprises. Those two creatures are enclosed in the field lane. It's going to be pretty hard to, I don't know, use uh, Defiler to slay anything. Astrid resummoned. Javelin. Mm. I'm going to keep Javelin. Why? Because I have Odoving in, in hand. And I can play it next turn. I'm pretty much confident that I will clean the board. That's a 3-3, three, three, a 4-4, four, four, a 3-3, three, three, and a 2-3. So my opponent used Soul Tear, and he'll get another Disciple of the Mirror. Actually, it's the same one. <laughs> wow, almost at card limit. Let's play Odoving. Goodbye, everything. Disciple of Namira and Al the Lothi Assassin. Nothing that we can do right now. We got 15 damage. Oh, I've got lethal. I've got lethal. If you if you don't see it, uh, then I'm sorry. <laughs> no prophecies and Call Granted will summon Swift Wing Dragon and it's gonna push for five damage. And it's going to take the match home. This was pretty, pretty quick against an even half pack. A strange one. Maybe there was a combo to it. But we're not waiting, hanging around enough to see it. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.